if you don't know the first part yet so link in the description box this clever all the character and incident are fictional i think is minor in this ff so don't compare with your life it's just based on imagination not a reality you can't control yourself anymore you want to stop yourself especially your gaze but you can't. You were staring at him. He carried you in his arms and that made your heart filter carefully and protectively like it belongs to him. He made his way to the door. You twisted your ankle so you can't walk. I have no idea what she is thinking about me but today is her birthday and I want to make it special for her. But now this has happened even after telling her countless times. She still doesn't know how she drive me crazy. Seeing her in pain makes me feel like I could burn the whole world for her. He settled you on the seat. Thanks. He lifted his head and their eyes locked. Just don't make a habit to get locked in places. Even his serious tone gives you butterflies in your stomachs. Why he is talking like my fictional man's? You blinked the multiplied times. He looked at your face. Oyen, you have to. He looked at you. You were smiling and his intense gaze shifted, softened. He gulped. My heart piece is again getting out of my control. I'll be back. He unlocked the door and ran out. But where are you going? He left. He already left. You bite your lips and touch your swollen foot and you hissed in pain. It hurts. You looked at him through the window and thought about the past few years. You remember how crazy you were just for seeing his reflection and then how you became afraid of him. You avoid his calls, stop thinking about him. But today you found yourself again thinking about him just like you did years ago. And he come back, but with the ice pack in his hand, this should help. He closed the door and sat beside you. He gently grabbed your feet and placed in his lap. You you close your eyes and lean back. What he is doing? Ah, oh, no. He noticed you. When you close your eyes, he chuckled. He softly touched your feet, but his gaze were fixed on you. And this time you pressed your lips together and he smirked. Babe. You quickly looked at him, and that's make him laugh. Mean you admit that you are my babe. Wow. Mm hmm. Actually, I wanna ask you something. He carefully placed that eyes on your swollen foot, trying to distract you with his question so you would not focus on the pain. He gently applied the eyes. I felt warm, comfortable feeling. His touch was gentle and made me feel safe, even though the ice was cold but his hand were so caring. He looked at you with a playful smirk. So last night when I called and you said it was a wrong number, did you really not save my number? Your face turned red. Sorry. Did you not recognize my voice or just trying to be mysterious, babe? You clear your throat. What happened, babe? He looked straight into your eyes. He put that eyes back on its box and then he lifted up his head. He furrowed his eyebrows. You might thought it's not important to save my number, right? I didn't mean to seem it like I just biting your lips. I don't know what to say. He softly smiles. As he watched, you struggle to explain yourself. And his next move was not as you imagined. He grabbed your hand and pulled you on the top of him, on his lap. Your eyes widened. Don't be surprised. You got and looking at his eyes, I feel nothing. I swear nothing except goosebumps and butterflies. I was enjoying her innocent reaction, but when I looked at her cherry lips, I lost my mind. And then I he cleared his throat and wrapped his arm around your waist. Wyan. Did he call me Wyan? What? I was expecting 
him to call me babe. He looked away, he ruined my mood. His jaw dropped. What happened, babe? Your cheeks turned red when he called you, babe. You looked at him and you shook your head. He bit his lips. I like you. Your heart skipped beat. He gently cupped your face. His eyes softened as he looked into you. I like you. And nothing is hide. You know my feelings towards you since. I tried to approach you, but I was waiting for the right time. Your breath caught in your throat throat i did you don't have to say anything right now i just want you to know what i feel and your heart raced and i want to tell you that i love you too his arm were wrapped around your waist and now you felt him pulling you more closer it's feel like it's a dream and it might end soon but it's not. He whispered against your lips. He bite your lips, hesitated, but wrapped your arm around his neck. I used to be scared of you. He almost laughed. Are you serious? You nodded innocently. Are you still afraid of me? Not at all. You felt warm as he leaned closer. Do you know, I used to think I was just obsessed with you, but it was love. You, he make an eye contact with you, are important to me than you know. I was waiting for the right moment. His lips curled up in a smile. And I guess this is the right moment. What? Your eyes widened when he leaned in and pressed his lips against yours. And then you close your eyes. He was gentle. He know how, treat, how to treat you. He understand what things can hurt you and what makes you feel uncomfortable. He broke and you both looked at each other's. He gently brushed away your hairs from your forehead, but you both got startled when a sudden knock on the door interrupted the whole scene. You looked at the window and your heart beat almost stopped. Sabrina? You immediately pulled away. Your face turned red in embarrassment. Sabrina was standing outside, her eyes wide in shock. Then she shifted her gaze to her brother, who was normal. He moved towards the window. He slid down the window. What's up, girl? What was you doing? She looked at you. He fronted his eyebrows. You gulped and tried to go up from his lap, but he didn't let you. You let out a nervous laugh, Sabrina. He spoke in a little straight voice. I came back because my exam got cancelled, but she twisted her eyebrows and looked at you. You quickly pushed him and got up from his lap. Babe, you sat beside him. You felt super awkward. You looked at the window. Congratulations, you successfully ruined my beautiful moment. Now get in. He spoke to Sabrina. Next day, Sabrina, look, I make your favorite soup. Sitting on the couch, stop right there. You place that bowl of soup on the table and walk to her. I swear everything happened so fast, I was just going to tell you. She wrapped her arm around her chest and looked away. You held her hand, sorry now. She looked at you and spoke in a full of anger. Where is my garlic bread? You said you are going to make it. You quickly got up in happiness. Um, I'm just going to make, just give me some minutes. She chuckled. Ash, come here. She opened her arms and you quickly rushed to her and hugged her. And after spending three hours with her, now you were going home. But before you reached to the door, someone grabbed your elbow and pinned you against the wall. And it was Arjun Jungkook. My baby was living without even saying goodbye. Huh? He whispered in your ear. And he said, I'm going to take a look at you. Take care, you love you. And I promise I'm going to complete it. And I'm going to do 10 or 20. And I'm going to do a bonus. So if you like it, like, comment, share. And bye bye.